Hi, my name is Annalisa. And my name is Jaslyn. Today, we're going to make a pineapple fiesta salad. This is a very colorful side dish that is packed with nutrients. It is high in protein and fiber, which keeps us fuller after a meal. Protein also supports our muscles and fiber is good for gut health. This recipe provides 214 calories per serving and makes eight servings. Before we get started, we will need two cans of black beans, one can of pineapple chunks, a half cup of red onion, one can of corn, one and a half cups of tomatoes of any choice, two small avocados, and a handful of cilantro for the salad. And we will also need a fourth a cup of lime juice, which is right here, one tablespoon of pineapple juice um, from this pineapple chunk can, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, or enough to taste for the lime dressing. And that's all in this little bowl right here. Here we have pepper to add flavor, but you can also add chili powder or cayenne powder to taste. Now let's get started. So you always want to make sure your hands are washed and the surface is clean before preparing the food. To make preparing easier, have all the cans open and drained except for the pineapple chunks. When buying cans from the grocery store, you want to make sure to avoid picking cans that are dented or smashed. This reduces the chance of getting sick from foods. Always check the expiration date to see if it's still good and wipe the tops of the can before opening. First, we're going to make the lime dressing. I'm going to add one fourth cup of lime juice into the bowl. And add one tablespoon of pineapple juice from my already opened can. Next, we're going to add half teaspoons of cumin, garlic powder, and salt. To reduce salt intake, we can always add a small amount of salt to taste. After this step, I'm going to lightly sprinkle some pepper to add flavor. You can also add chili powder or cayenne powder for a spicy flavor. Next, we're going to whisk all, together, all the ingredients together and set aside. Now for the salad part of this side dish. A helpful tip for a yummier salad is that you're going to want to rinse the black beans well and let them dry for a bit to, for a less soggy bottom of a bowl from the bean juice. Fun fact about black beans, they are a good non-meat source of iron, which provides energy and helps us from getting sick. So in a large bowl right here, we're going to add two cans of well-rinsed black beans and then we're also going to add one can of drained pineapple chunks and then one can of corn. Next we're going to cut our washed tomatoes, onion, and cilantro. You're going to want to start cutting our one and a half cup of tomatoes into dices. If you're using Roma tomatoes like these, it's about one and a half tomatoes being used. All right, so now that we've finished cutting the tomatoes, we're gonna add it to the bowl. Once our tomatoes are done, begin to cut the onion. I know that many of us have experienced crying when cutting an onion. Cut an onion by first cutting both ends to reduce the crying. If the, bul if the bulb end is cut like this one, it releases chemicals that may irritate the eye and cause it one to cry. Next, we're going to cut the onion in half.
and remove the outer layer. Lastly, cut the onion into slices and then into cubes and add it into the bowl. Alright, the next ingredient to cut is the washed cilantro. So first, we're going to de-stem about a handful of cilantro. And to, to do that, you simply just pull off the leaves, like so, and you continue doing that for each um, piece. Alright, so now we're going to chop the cilantro into pieces and add them into the bowl. Now toss all the ingredients in the large bowl together and place it in the refrigerator to cool. So while the salad is cooling, cut the avocado into cubes if you wish to add them into the salad. This ingredient is optional as not all people enjoy avocados like me. However, avocados are a healthy fat. They are also packed with fiber as well as being cholesterol free. Alright, so first we're going to cut through the avocado and then remove the seed. And then we're going to cut around. And then cut again, vertical and then horizontal. And then we're going to use a spoon to get the rest of it out. It's okay if the salad is not cooled for the full 15 minutes. So now we're going to pour in the dressing and toss again. So now we can add and fold in the avocado if desired. So I'm just going to scoop out some of the avocado and add it into the bowl. You want to carefully fold in to avoid mashing the avocado. Now voila, you made a pineapple fiesta salad. If you're planning to have leftovers, the avocado will brown over time. It is better to add the avocado as you eat the salad to avoid browning and extend freshness. Thank you for joining us for learning how to make a pineapple fiesta salad. If you would like to get more delicious and nutritious recipes, click below to like and subscribe to the RHN WIC YouTube channel.